All right, so hopefully you've watched that first two videos where we worked on the uh, picture from Japan. Good news, this one will be a lot faster because I'm not going to go into all the details on what things do. Just kind of work through the process so you can see what's going on. All right, so here we've got a picture shot on the blue corner in Palau. Uh, my wife took it, full disclosure. It's a good shot. It's got some nice light here. Uh, it's shot with an eight millimeter fisheye lens, you can tell. Uh, really, the main thing that jumps out at me up to this about this one is it's got some green, a lot of green and heavy yellows in it. So the flash that was used, flash is very warm. It's a very yellow flash. And then the water itself has a little bit of a green tinge to it. Mostly that's caused by the shadows at this depth, but we'll work on that. But overall, nice even exposure. I picked the picture at random. So let's see what we can do. So again, starting at the top, working our way down. Exposure, it's, yeah, it's pretty good. I don't think we want to mess with that. Contrast, you know how I feel about that. Let's not bother with that till the end. All right, highlights. I said the last time we normally drop these in every picture. Let's see if that holds true. And indeed it does. You'll notice a difference. How the fish in here, it's very bright. We drop those down and the fish are now much more evenly lit. On the flip side of that though, will be the shadows, which we also like to normally drop. And actually looks pretty good. If we bring them up, we increase some brightness on the fish down here, but at the expense of lighting up some of these rather unattractive areas. So I think we'll go the other way and do that. Just kind of crush the shadows there. Okay, let's redefine the grayscale here. So on the whites, I want to, this is the area I'm going to watch for blowouts. So I'm going to push the whites all the way up and then just bring them back until right about, right about there. The silvery areas of here are not blown out. And we'll do the same things, but we'll go the other direction with the blacks and bring them up, up, up. And probably right about there. All right, now we're getting somewhere. Let's move into the color balancing. That's going to be the main, so we're over here, that's going to be the main push in this edit is to offset this yellowish flash and then some of the greenish cyan colored water. So if we have a yellow, two yellow flash, that means we need to offset it with a cooler blue color. So let's see. You can see here it gets very warm. We're going to go the other way. Offset this and push this, that's probably too far. We want the, these yellows, we know those should be yellow, so we want those to stay that way. We want them to be nice and bright, and we'll just, it's pretty close, but we'll just drop it a touch. All right, so the magentas here, the tint, the green and magentas. What we see here is a lot of greenish color. It's not pure green, but it's definitely there. So greens on this side, we wanna go the other way. If we add green, ugh, but we go the other way, and boom, and this will be the biggest change we make. You want to find something like the eyes or the silver in here. You don't want this to get a purplish tinge. See, now it has this kind of magenta cast to it. We want to bring that down so you can't really see. That's right about there. So at that point, what are we looking at? Original, there, original, there. Okay, let's go into effects. Texture, I'm still not sure how to feel about this one. Let's bump it up a little bit though, but we want to go full size. Nice detail there. This was shot on an Olympus EM1 Mark I. Uh, clarity, you can see how that brings out noise. Watch the noise start to pop up back there. See that? So let's give that a little bit of a bump. The dehaze, this is pretty cool. Uh, bring that somewhere right in there and the vignette which let's double check those from this point of view that's pretty good the vignette uh, you know what i think about that that's a personal choice i'm going to hit it on this one i want the eye to be firmly fixed right here all of this backscatter we can get back and remove this and all these bubbles but in this case we're not going that far we're limiting this to basic edits so we'll just vignette it down to there so, like I said before, my last step is to come back and circle around to the exposure and contrast, which are normally 
way too heavy handed at the beginning, but they work well now. And I always find I have to bump the exposure a little bit to offset. And you can see that's the case here. It got a little dark. And the contrast, it's a little contrasty for me. So I'm going to bring the contrast down. And okay, there we go. So now we have from that to that. Not a major change, but you can see the, the sharpness and the definition comes in the fish. The color balancing changes. We drop some of these shadows, even out this these kind of overexposed fish here that were probably hit by a, a strobe that was positioned high. And back. Not major, not earth shattering, and it's just basically developing your photo to your taste. So stay tuned and we'll do a couple more of these.